Okay, boys and girls, this is gonna be the fastest Rampage talk in history. Not that we had much, we had two so far, but this gotta be quick. Uh, fortunately enough, Rampage was one hour. Yeah, it was a little bit stacked, but I'm here to tell you what happened. And I'm here to tell you if I was rating Rampage, <laughs> what score I would give it. The first match is... Uh, I'm gonna rate this because I need it. Mystico versus... Rocky Romero Azucar, which was a match that was not supposed to happen in AEW, but now it's happening in AEW, it's happening usually in CMLL, uh, they're the big luchador uh, guys. Anyway, I was really excited to see that match because everyone is talking about luchadors and all of that stuff. I'm a fan of Rey Mysterio and I was really curious to see a traditional luchador match and to be fair with you not that i didn't like it i liked it don't get me wrong but it was nothing too spectacular maybe maybe i'm too spoiled with guys like ricochet ray mysterio and basically every guy nowadays can do a moonsault or some sort of a splash from the top rope so i feel like i'm a little bit spoiled I see how gracious they are and how smooth their movements are. Like, you can see that it's everything is flowing. But, yeah, the match was good. Mystico won. And uh, the match was two out of three falls. Mystico got the first fall. The other guy had the second fall. And Mystico won the match after that. And that was it for the match. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, uh, it was a really a good match. I am just too spoiled. After that, we had a match for the International Championship Challenger. And it was between John Silva, Kip Sabian, and Brother Zay. And I don't know who should be the natural favorite in this match. But going into this match, I was neutral. I didn't care who is going to win. But as the match was going, I, w I started to root for Brother Zay. I don't know, I see something in him. I cannot quite pick what it is, but I see something in him and I start to like him. I have watched only one match of him prior to this one. I was not happy with that match, but right now I see something. I don't know what it is, but I like Brother Zay. Unfortunately enough, John Silver won. I don't know why is it unfortunate. He's gonna be the next guy who's gonna challenge Orange Cassidy. Uh, and on Dynamite we saw Orange Cassidy being with a new energy. Like, of course, he's having a gimmick that is really cool and he's really laid down, but he was like, I know what this championship means to me because I have already lost it. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to defend it now if I haven't been doing this until now. So I'm really excited to see Orange Cassidy versus John Silver, or whoever in that matter. Next up, we had a Black Cool com... <laughs> I just said Black Cool. They're not cool at all. Blackpool Combat Club squash match. I'm not gonna even say who are these guys, because it was a squash match. Basically, Blackpool, Blackpool Combat Club is having a match tomorrow for the AEW Tag Titles. And tonight we had a preview of what's gonna happen. Stop with these. Just, just stop. Also, what is Battle of the Belts? Is it a pay-per-view or it's a bonus show or whatever? I don't know. You probably see this after Battle of the Belts, but I'm gonna mix Collision and Battle of the Belts because they're at the same night and I'm not sure exactly what Battle of the Belts is. So you're gonna see it in the Collision review video. Last but not least, I started to like woman wrestler as well, in the name of Sky Blue. Probably it's because I see her three times per week now, but I started to like her. I, as the Brother Zay situation, I cannot quite put my finger on what I like about her. Probably is the entrance music, I don't know, it's a little bit funky, it's a little bit dancey, uh, but I don't know, I like something about her. I like the match against Ruby Soho tonight, uh, she didn't give up, probably that's what uh, baby faces do. She's not exactly baby face, because when Ruby Soho won, 
spoiler, the outcasts started attacking her and Chris Tatlander came out there and tried to save her, but she was like, no, no, I have nothing of that shit. And uh, yeah, does that mean that she's a baby face or a heel or a little bit of both? I cannot quite get it, but I like her. I like her. It's, she's good uh, and uh, I want to see more of her, maybe to like her more. I don't know. Maybe I'll start disliking her. Who knows? I don't. Anyway, with that being said, that was the fastest Rampage talk ever. And if I was rating AEW Rampage, but I'm not, I'm just saying if hypothetically I was, I would have given it 6 out of 10. I don't know. It was a good show, but it was not quite there. In my opinion, Rampage is a little bit of a dark matches vibe situation. Maybe next week is gonna be 7 or 8, I don't know, but for now, if I was rating it, it's 6. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you soon. Peace.